Ellie Cheng Yi. Released on May 16, 2024. A special limited edition of 51,700 copies of Elle magazine for Cheng Yi's birthday, with 10,000 regular copies without the card, sold out in just a few minutes. Cheng Yi, what comes to you is the best choice. Stoicism and self-discipline are the first impressions that Cheng Yi leaves on people. When he speaks, he is straightforward and never exaggerates. He's like a blank sheet of paper laid out before you, with the answer being the puzzle itself. When talking about topics close to his heart, he reveals a youthful energy, like the rough edges left behind when cutting Schwann paper, full of detail and vibrancy. However, in deeper conversations, we can still capture Cheng Yi's breath of life in topics that touch us deeply, like those rough cuts left behind, exuding the spirit of a young man who hasn't experienced too much. People need a little roughness to be more complete. Birthday. The cover shoot lasted from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. When the final shot was completed, the studio was filled with cheers and applause. Amidst the bustling crowd, a birthday cake was brought out. Cheng Yi was obviously surprised by this early birthday wish, but to avoid delaying the shooting schedule he said, let's put it aside and eat together after everyone is done working. The birthday cake was placed in the center of the table, and the conversation began from there. This year's birthday will still be spent on set, just like previous years. In recent years, Cheng Yi's time has become increasingly tight, continuously shooting one film after another, with birthdays being no exception. In May 2018, he was filming The Lost Tomb. In 2019, he spent his birthday on the set of Love and Redemption. On May 17, 2021, to avoid delaying the shooting schedule for Immortal Samsara, Cheng Yi specially chose Heng Dian to hold his first ever public birthday party and only took one day off from filming in May 2022. He was extremely busy, completing the modern drama Boundary and moving on to the martial arts drama Mysterious Lotus Casebook. Last year, he spent his birthday on the set of The Heroes, and this year he is currently filming Fox Spirit Matchmaker, Wang Quan Chapter. On the morning of his birthday, he felt satisfied after eating a bowl of longevity noodles and boiled eggs prepared by his mother. I didn't have a special impression of birthdays before, probably because I didn't celebrate them when I was young. When I was very little, my parents worked away from home and only came back once a year, so in my memory, my birthday didn't leave a deep impression. However, as I grew older, birthdays each year became more special. Since 2021, Cheng Yi has held a live broadcast every year on his birthday to chat with fans from all over the world, sharing his progress and feelings over the past year. Like catching up with an old friend, just hearing each other's voices and saying hello is enough. Do you care about your age now that you're over 30? Cheng Yi laughed heartily, then carefully considered before giving his answer. Every age has its own charm. I don't pay much attention to age. At this point, I think more about how I'm in my 30s, meaning my parents are no longer young. My grandparents raised me when I was little. Seeing them age and eventually pass away makes me feel very sad. In the end, I can only age slowly, I don't want to accept it, but it's inevitable. It's the natural order of things, so growing up has its cruel side. Home. The word home for Cheng Yi means warmth, love, and a sense of belonging. If Cheng Yi were like a piece of cut-out Schwann paper, then home would be the intertwined threads that weave that paper, and also the softest edges. In Cheng Yi's description of his childhood, his hometown has mountains, rivers to swim in during summer, bright sunshine, watermelons and peaches that are easy to pick, and friends who run wildly across the mountains. His grandparents always smiled. I grew up in a family full of love and had a very happy childhood. In the future, when he occasionally feels discouraged, memories of his hometown can always immediately comfort him. Whenever a film wraps up, Cheng Yi goes back to his hometown in Hunan whenever he has time. He fishes and cooks with friends, in words reminiscing about the carefree days of youth. Time passes with conversations and eating. Many friends and classmates around me now have children. It's a feeling of belonging. Over the past 10 years, 
Cheng Yi has filmed all over the country with various crews, traveling through different times and stories, using himself like a blank sheet of paper to paint various colors and strokes. After stepping out of the role, he needs a home that gives him a sense of belonging. Going home means erasing the drawings at the right time and finding the true and pure side of himself. The hustle and bustle of life can easily be erased when he is in his hometown. In the eyes of those who grew up with him, no matter what roles Cheng Yi plays, or who he becomes, or how famous he gets, he remains the same. Going home allows the determined and hardworking Cheng Yi to be put aside and return to his original self. Last year, Cheng Yi returned home and watched Mysterious Lotus Casebook with his grandparents. Our family probably watched it hundreds of times. His face was repeatedly shown on the screen. He and his sister felt very shy seeing it, but his grandparents still loved watching. He could see that the elderly were genuinely proud and happy, as his grandmother would tell everyone when they met. Although she still couldn't distinguish whether it was Mysterious Lotus Casebook or Mysterious Lotus Road until the end of the show, this didn't stop her and her 70, 80-year-old friends from watching together. My grandparents once raised me, but now they're like children. As I've grown up, it's now my turn to take them out to eat, play, and see the world outside," Cheng Yi said. Family can give him the best things, joy and safety. When he was young, his parents were away from home for most of the year. As a teenager, he went to Beijing alone. Most of the time, he spent less time with his family, being away from home more. At this stage of his life, family love has become one of the most important emotional supports. We tried asking Cheng Yi to recall the happiest moments of the past year. His answer was, going to work and coming home, going home and eating dinner. One day after filming, I opened the door after work and saw that the light was still on and my father was still waiting. I felt warm inside. I've persuaded my father many times to go to bed early, but he doesn't listen. Perhaps my father has this kind of personality. Deep down, he hopes his son can see him every time he comes home, even if it's at 2 a.m., 3 a.m., or even at 3 or 4 a.m., he'll still leave the door open for me. This habit has been maintained for a long time, probably six or seven years. This is his way of showing love. Acting. Like most people, at the time when another year is added, Cheng Yi reflects on the traces time has left on him. Yes, I've definitely changed. Others say I'm no longer as lively as before. Back in middle school and high school, I had a mischievous personality. The unruliness of the past is rarely shown, and Cheng Yi has greatly restrained his tendency to rush forward when facing problems, instead finding peace and tranquility. The reason for the change is, I believe everyone is the same. About what he has experienced, Cheng Yi no longer says much. He doesn't go into detail about the 10 years of struggling to rise, of course, the shocks, pains, and confusion he has gone through are all there. But he doesn't want to bring up old stories again. During the 10 years of growing up, he witnessed more of the healing part of the process. Especially in recent years, the works and roles have given him strength. Li Lianhua in Mysterious Lotus Casebook deeply influenced him. Cheng Yi saw in Li Lianhua a light, or rather a sense of vitality, emerging from the ruins. When a man climbs over the hill and sees that there is nothing behind him, how should he let go and face his life? Looking back at myself 10 years ago, I wasn't afraid of anything. If there was an opportunity, I would take it. Now, my mentality has changed a lot, my personality is different. But these are all marks left by maturity. Most of what we encounter in life are minor issues, small conflicts. After all, there is no obstacle that we cannot overcome. Even though Li Lianhua had only a short period left in his life, Cheng Yi could have portrayed Li Lianhua as constantly sick, but he didn't do that. Although the character's background was very sad, he didn't want sadness to dominate his life. He was living a happy life too. The sadness and joy of every moment in life are real. Even if the road ahead and behind is full of thorns, one should still wear a warm smile. In the end, Cheng Yi portrayed a gentle and warm Li Lianhua on the screen. Life is unpredictable, but we still have to live it. The only way to go is forward, Cheng Yi said.
Looking back at his acting journey in recent years, he reflects, looking at the characters and roles I've taken on, every role has its meaning and luck. Every character is a process of learning and gaining experience. They help me grow. From the straightforward and lively Yu Feng to the reserved and stoic Yuan Yi, to the cold but passionate Lu Yun, the unwavering Zhao Yuming, the amiable and humorous Huo Shang, and finally to the Li Lianhua, who can look beyond life and death. These characters have become a part of Cheng Yi's life journey, leaving behind the traces of years gone by. Although all are fictional, they are also real, and Cheng Yi is their supporter and follower. There's a saying I've come to understand these days, what comes to you is the best choice. I used to think you should pursue whatever you wanted, but later I understood that there is no use worrying about what you can't get. Now I know the importance of keeping a good state of mind, Cheng Yi said. If you stay, then all the hardships and battles in life will be worth it. Cheng Yi's letter on the card included with the Elle magazine's special birthday issue on May 16th. There are still many people I want to thank for accompanying me on this journey until today. First of all, it's the friend who persuaded me to become an actor. If it weren't for your words, I wouldn't have boarded that green painted train to Beijing and wouldn't have even thought of becoming an actor. When I first arrived in Beijing, I had no family or friends in this unfamiliar land, but I met many people who helped me. Whether it was teachers, classmates in school or colleagues, everyone gave me great encouragement and witnessed my growth over the years. In celebrity memoirs, there are often moments described as the important choices in life and success is often attributed to a flash of inspiration at a crucial moment. But I often feel that the switch that changes one's life is not necessarily in one's own hands. Sometimes it is opened by someone else for you. At least that's how it was for me. A few days ago on set, I acted in a scene with a child. I learned a lot from sharing that scene with them. I felt like they were also one of my teachers and they helped me. During the filming process, I would chat with the on-set managers, senior photographers, lighting technicians, and costume designers, and I would listen to their stories. Listening to their stories has been very beneficial to me. My profession is an actor, but besides that, I'm also an ordinary person. In my perspective, every individual can bring me the most genuine emotions. Who knows, maybe the next important choice in life switch will be held by a stranger. 